What we're going to be going over here is direct materials, direct labor, variable and overhead variances, and we're going to be looking at the formula equations here to calculate these variances. And it's going to be based on a standard costing system. So we'll start with our direct materials looking at the price and quantity variances here. So what we would do, we'd have these uh, accounts here. We'd have an accounts payable for these direct materials purchased at their actual cost. And then they're going to flow into a materials purchased control account here as being inventoried in that account. And then they're going to flow into the work and process here, a control account at their standard cost. So the key we're going to work off for these formulas here for AP is going to stand for the actual price. SP stands for the standard price. AQP stands for the actual quantity purchased. AQU stands for the actual quantity used. And SQA here stands for the standard quantity allowed. So for our, our actual cost here, that would be actual quantity purchased times the actual price. And then for our control accounts here, we're going to have the actual quantity purchased here times, times the standard price. And then we're going to have the actual quantity used times the standard price. And then for a standard cost, we'll have the standard quantity allowed here times the standard price. So for our price variance, that would simply be the difference between the actual price here and the standard price times the actual quantity purchased. That's for the price variance. And you can also look at it as a usage variance as well, just taking the difference between the actual price and the standard price times the actual quantity used. So that would be a usage variance. And then for our quantity variance, that would be the actual quantity used here, difference between our actual quantity used here and our standard quantity allowed times the standard price. And I've, I've broken them down here. You can see where our actual cost here, we're con comparing it to the our control account here, where, for example, here, the actual quantity purchased times the actual price, we'd be comparing that to the actual quantity purchased here times the standard price. So we just factored our actual quantity purchased out here from our actual price and our standard price. So that's how these formulas are set up. And the same here for uh, looking at our quantity variance. We just have our, be comparing our actual quantity used times the standard price to the standard quantity allowed here times the standard price. Just factoring out our standard price. You can see how that actual quantity used, a uh, difference between our actual quantity used here and our standard quantity allowed. So that's how we're going to be looking at all these formulas. Okay, so let's move over now into our direct labor rate and price and efficiency variances. So uh, this direct labor, it's, we're going to have a wages payable, and it's going to be at the actual cost of the direct labor, and then it flu flows into a manufacturing payroll account here, and we're going to have that a control account, and then it would flow into the work and process here at the standard cost. So going to our reference key here for this, you, the act AR stands for the actual hourly rate, SR stands for the standard hourly rate, AHU stands for the actual hours used, and SHA, the standard hours allowed. Okay, so for our actual cost, that's going to be the actual hours used times the actual rate, actual labor rate. And then for our control account here, that would be again our actual hours used times the standard rate. Now for a standard cost, that's going to be the standard hours allowed again times the standard rate. So our rate or price variance here would be looking at the difference here between our actual rate, uh, difference between our actual rate and our standard rate times the actual uh, hours used. So we just factored out our actual hours used here from the actual rate, a difference between our actual rate and our standard rate. That's how we got our rate or price variance. And then for our efficiency variance, we're just making the comparison here where we have difference between our actual hours used and our standard hours allowed here times the standard rate. So we just factor it out our actual hours or our actual hours used and our difference between our actual hours used and our standard hours allowed here from our standard rate. Okay, so that takes care of our direct labor and price uh, price or efficiency. That was our efficiency variance here. And just to understand the efficiency variance is the difference between this control account here and our standard cost that we had. And our rate or price variance, again, was the difference between our actual cost here and our control account. So that's how that works. Okay, so now we'll move on. Okay, now we'll go over our variable overhead spending and efficiency variances. Now this is where we're gonna take uh, miscellaneous accounts. We're gonna take all those variable overhead 
uh, that we've cut for the period here at their actual cost. So you're going to have to determine your variable over here all through all the miscellaneous accounts at their actual cost. And then it's going to flow into a variable overhead control account. Actually, it's going to go into a manufacturing overhead account, control account here. And it's going to be a, a have a control account here. And then it's going to flow into the work and process control account here at the standard cost. Okay, so for the key for our formulas here, SVOR stands for the standard variable overhead rate, AHU stands for the actual hours used, SHA stands for the standard hours allowed, and then DH here, those that stands for the total budgeted direct labor hours for the period, and it's referred to as the denominator hours because it is the, the denominator here in our uh, formula here to determine our standard variable overhead rate. So our standard variable overhead rate is really your total variable cost that you estimate for the period here divided by the total direct labor hours that you're estimating for the period. So that's your standard variable overhead rate. Okay, so first for our spending variance, that's really uh, the difference between our actual cost here and our variable overhead control account. So you'd have to determine what your actual cost is and you'd have to, that would be the total variable overhead for the period here. That would have to be your actual cost. You'd have to accumulate that. And then it would, and then uh, your spending variance is really the difference between, again, your, you take the difference here. You take your standard variable overhead rate times the actual hours used for the period. And then you'd have to subtract that from your, your actual cost here. So you're just comparing your control account here to your actual cost and the difference gives you the spending variance. And now for our efficiency variance. Again, we're going to our control account here and comparing it to our standard cost. So what we're just, we'll take, that is really the actual, the difference between your actual hours used and your standard hours allowed here. Times your, and that difference times your standard variable overhead rate. So all you've done is you factored out your standard variable overhead rate here from your standard cost. Difference actual hours used, difference between actual hours used and standard hours allowed times the standard variable overhead rate here is your efficiency variance. Okay, so now let's go in, let's look at our fixed overhead spending and volume variance. Now this is where you're going to again have to accumulate all your total, determine your total fixed overhead here for the period at its actual cost. It's going to come out of miscellaneous accounts here and you have to determine the actual cost. Then it's going to flow into actually a manufacturing overhead. I've got it labeled here as a fixed overhead control account here. And then it flows into the work and process at the standard cost. Okay, so now let, uh, let's go down and look, let's look at our key here for SFOR stands for the standard fixed overhead rate. AHU stands for the actual hours used. SHA stands for the standard hours allowed. And DH, those again are the total budgeted direct labor hours for the period. Again, referred to as the denominator hours. So the standard fixed overhead rate, that's really taking your total fixed cost that you estimate for the period here, divided by the total direct labor hours that you're estimating for the period. So that's going to be your standard fixed overhead rate. Okay, now let's go up here and let's look at our spending variance. That's really the difference between your actual cost here for your fixed overhead and your uh, control account here. So uh, again, the control account here is your standard fixed overhead rate times your denominator hours, or those total direct labor hours here. And that we would compare to our actual cost here. So you're just subtracting your standard fixed overhead rate times your denominator hours or total direct labor hours. Subtract that from your actual cost that you have to determine. That gives you your spending variance. Okay, so now for our volume variance. Again, we're looking at our control account here, uh, compare it to our standard cost. So we're really fact, well, it, it's, it is this. It's the denominator hours or those total direct labor hours that you estimate for the period the, and the difference between those uh, denominator hours here and your standard hours allowed. So that difference here times your standard fixed overhead rate. So what you've just done here is you just, between your control account and your standard cost, you just factored out your standard fixed overhead rate here. And you factored it out and you take, you compare them. You just took your, take your denominator hours or total direct labor hours and you would compare it to your standard hours 
allowed here. And that difference, again, times your standard fixed overhead rate, gives you the volume variance. So we just factored it out. We made the comparison here between our control account and our standard cost here for our volume variance. And then we did the same with our spending variance. We looked at our actual cost and compared it to our control account here. And the difference gives you either the spending variance or the volume variance. Okay, so that takes our oh, takes care of our fixed overhead spending and volume variance. Then one last thing just to mention here. You have to, when you do make these differences here, you're going to have to uh, put them into uh, these T accounts. That we're looking at two T accounts here, fixed variable overhead versus the variable overhead here, the spending variance versus, again, two spending variances here. And all I want to point out, if it's unfavorable, if the difference is unfavorable or over budget, that is, you would debit whatever particular account you're looking at. In this case, it's fixed uh, variable or a fixed overhead spending variance. So we debit it. That means it's unfavorable. That means we're over budget. And then if in the case here, if it was under budget or was favorable, then you would credit your particular account and as favorable here. In this case, we had a credit here of 1500 that's favorable. So when you have these variances, if it's favorable, or in this case, I'm just saying under budget here, then you would credit it for whatever that amount is. And if it's unfavorable or over budget, then you would debit it in your particular account, just to make that point. So that's what you'd have to do when you're uh, going through and you're doing these variances. You have to determine if whether it's unfavorable, over budget, or favorable, under budget. Over budget, debit your particular account here, or as unfavorable, and if it's favorable, credit your particular account as favorable. Okay, so that'll summarize our discussion here on these formulas and our var different variances.